good morning everyone i welcome you all for the series of lecture on linear separability before going into this topic we will see why we need this particular topic why we need to discuss about this topic most of the events in nature are non linear right neural networks it will not give you an exact solution for all types of problem it will give you an approximate solution right so this linear separability what it will do is it will divide the input space into two regions based on the output whether it is positive or negative so for example if you have a two dimensional space okay if you have a two dimensional space so you have you will use a line which will separate the points from which will separate the points from one class to another class so in one class you are having red points and another class you are having blue points so there is a line which will separate the red points from the blue points from the blue points okay this is called this is you have to do it in two dimensional space suppose if you are going to take an n dimensional space okay or otherwise three dimensional space so that you have to draw an hyperplane okay you have to draw an hyperplane which will separate the points from positive region and the negative region that is called linear separable so using a decision line you have, or otherwise you can call this decision line or boundary you are going to separate the positive and the negative responses that is called linear separability so this how you are going to derive this decision line that is based on the neural network itself so consider this is the neural a simple artificial neural network where we are going to have two inputs x1 and x2 and these are all the two inputs which is given to the output y and you are going to have one bias so bias it is having net input to be 1 so here uh, it will be the how will you calculate this net input that will be nothing but b plus that is x0 is 1 over here that is x0 into b plus x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 you will get y input so y will be you have to apply the activation function on this net input you will get y okay this is how you will calculate so we can write this in equation that to be b plus sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi into wi y input will be b plus x sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi to wi suppose if you want to draw a decision line then you should equate this particular equation to equal to 0 this is what you have to do it okay when you equate this b plus x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 will be equal to 0 so when you equate it to 0 and you can find out this value for x2 by bringing b x1 w1 in the other side so you will get the equation the line the equation line you will get like this x2 will be equal to minus w1 by w2 into x1 minus b by w2 so this is the equation of the line so what you can do is that after calculating w1 w2 and b you can substitute this value you will get the line okay you will get the equation for the line so using this equation when when you substitute x x1 to be 0 you will get another x2 value when you substitute x2 equal to 0 you will get another uh, point so using this point you can draw the line in the graph okay this is how you can draw a line and you can separate you can check whether the region separates the positive response from the negative response okay so if you take an and function so and function when both the inputs are zero you will get zero when one of the input is zero is also output will be zero and uh, when both the inputs are one you will get one so for this equation you can easily draw this linear separable line so how would you draw is that here when all the inputs when any one of the input is zero your the response is zero so this you can able to Uh, draw it like this like uh, this when both the inputs are one you are going to get one over here that is in the positive response region all other inputs you are going to get in the negative response region so for this you can draw a decision line and you can say that this particular and network can able to separate both positive region and the negative region so what you will be doing in this particular in a linear separable uh, class is that you will be finding a decision line whether that particular network can able to differentiate the positive class from the negative 
respective class. So how would you do that? So when any network is given based on this network, you have to draw that you can write that equation and equate it to zero. And using this, you can find out the equation by using by moving this particular uh, the B coordinates and x1, w1 on the right hand side, and you can find out the value for x2. By using this, you can draw a line and you can find out whether substituting the values of w1, w2, and b, you can able to find out whether that line will separate both the input uh, positive region or a negative region or not. I hope that you will understand understood this particular concept linear separable. You will be using this linear separable in the next network called HEP network that we will see in the next lecture. Thank you all.